Hello, Guardians, and welcome to Destiny Reset, Episode 48. This podcast is about anything and everything related to Destiny the game. If you love playing Destiny as much as we do, you're in the right place. This reset, we get deep into Crucible concerns, Cyborg hits a milestone, and we prepare for the upcoming wealth of new content to be revealed this week. Well, hello, Guardians. This is Arrow Knights, and here with me is Cyborg Sasquatch. How are you doing, man? Hello, my salty friend. How's it going? <laughs> I'm doing fine, man. What salt are you referring to? Well, aer- Arrow Salt Night. Arrow Salt? <laughs> Arrow Salt Night. We'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We'll talk uh, about it. I'm doing good. How are you this evening? I'm great, man. Just coming off of a couple trials passages, mm-hmm. and so I'm feeling pretty good. We didn't go 9-0, but we had some fun. That's the point. Yes. Wonderful. Well, I had some fun this week, too. And before we get into that, let's uh, let's plow through some of these announcements, and we, we can talk about Destiny this week. We have our Geography Lesson of the Week, the part of the show where you, the listener, can tell everyone else in the world where you're from. What's so special about that place and what your favorite class in Destiny is? We've got a unique one this week from our buddy J Howard414 and Gip Pumped MKE. They sent one together because they are both from Burlington, Wisconsin. That's cool, man. <laughs> yeah, so J Howard sent us an email and he writes, Hey guys, I don't know if this has ever been done before, but this is actually a good geography lesson from two Derp Fam Guardians. Myself and Get Pumped MKE. We both hail from the town of Burlington, Wisconsin, which is a small town smack dab in between Milwaukee and Chicago. The town is comprised of a main historic downtown area and is surrounded by small townships, mostly centered around lakes. So fishing and boating is a big thing here. We are nicknamed Chocolate City, USA, (laughs) because of the huge Nestle factory in the middle of town. And on any given summer evening, the entire town smells of chocolate. We even have a chocolate fest every year, Memorial Day weekend, in honor of our number one major export. One of the main sects of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints was founded here, and their historic headquarters building still stands less than a block from the house I grew up in. We also have the Burlington Liars Club which has been going since 1929, in which people submit lies which are voted on and crowned Best Liar of the Year. (laughs) Their lies are printed on plaques and strewn about the city on building walls. Recently, our town received notoriety because it's the hometown of Mr. Tony Romo of the Dallas Cowboys. Yeesh. Many guardians have heard me brag that I went to high school with him, and although he graduated a year after me, I knew him well. As for Get Pumped, MKE, and me, we grew up together, and not only is it one of my oldest and best friends in real life, but we also play in a band together. And now we also share our Derp Fam name tag in the game we both love. So if you're ever in in Chicago, take take the hour trip north and visit us here in Burlington. Come have a drink, play some golf, or fish our lakes. You never know. You may be standing in line behind Tony Romo in Walmart. And it's up to you whether you want to punch them or praise them. <laughs> Take care, guys. J. Howard 414, Night Stalker Hunter, and Get Pumped MKE, Striker Titan. Striker Titan. Dude, that that was a great... Uh, yeah, that was really good. That was a really cool, interesting place. I love how the city is actually called Chocolate City <laughs> because where I live in South Louisiana, that concept is a kind of controversial thing <laughs> if anybody remembers what mayor ray nagan said after hurricane katrina about chocolate city you'll see why i thought that was odd but uh yeah i think if my wife lived there she would uh she would go crazy she loves chocolate yeah first time for the double geography lesson yeah. all uh, two in one man that's nice Pretty unique cool, thing <laughs> he, he makes it sound like a fun place. I, I almost want to go check it out. And I've never been in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Hang out with any cheeseheads, so that'd be fun. Great stuff, man. How All about right, man. Uh, 
about some of these announcements we've got this week, dude? Got some fun ones. Yeah, All we about do. the Dirt Fam. Man, oh man, do we have a bunch of new members of the family over no the kidding. last week or two, right? Definitely. Welcome. We, uh, Welcome. Yeah, we've got a bunch of new listeners and new Dirt Fan members to welcome. We're so great. We're so happy to have you and uh, hope you enjoy being part of our community. And of course, thank you to the current Derp Fam members for being so welcoming like you always are. Um, This has probably been, you know, we can uh, attribute this a little, obviously, to the uh, Crucible Radio um, appearance that we had. Yeah, uh, they sent some people our way after that. We got some, some Guardians, and I think they're fitting right in, and they are loving it, man. Who wouldn't love the Dirt Fam, right? That's what I'm saying. And uh, speaking of that, um, we got to the uh, new sub-clan, Destiny Reset Saint-14 live and clan enabled. So yep. all of you new members and or any other member that would rather rock the Saint-14 clan tag, all you got to do is find the link in our uh, forum post, the Derp, Derp Fam Link Hub forum post, and go there and set it as your clan whatever console you're on there's no approval process so you're good to go easy peasy yes sir so we got some (gasps) really awesome news i'm excited for you to tell them about this man you've asked for it and we are delivering there's merch (laughs) (laughs) did you say sword fighting no i said so exciting oh (laughs) well sword fighting would be cool too (laughs) guys we got a freaking t-shirt t-shirt Yes, there's a t-shirt. It's going to be up for sale this week. Probably within 24 hours of when you hear this show, we will tweet out a link to a Teespring campaign. Go there, check it out. There's a uh, t-shirt that was designed by our wonderful friend and friend of the show, Aesthetic X. If you don't know him, if you've never heard of him, he is a very talented guardian. Does a lot of artwork for many of our friends including myself and uh, he was kind enough to put together a t-shirt design for us that we love yes and we think the fam is going to love it too it's going to be up for sale on a teespring campaign guys the way this works uh basically we set a kind of a uh, a goal for how many shirts that we want to sell and once we hit that teespring uh We'll basically ship out the shirts to you for us. So yeah, we, we don't wanted have to, to do it ourselves. Get this out <laughs> for all these possible events that could be coming up, so you guys can support the fam with the lovely Dirt Fam T-shirt. Absolutely, and everybody's been asking about this for months and months and months and months. And we're sorry it took so that long. It took so long, <laughs> but these things aren't simple uh, when it comes to having money involved. And we had to get the design and la da da da. But here's the deal: if you buy this shirt, proceeds are going back towards all the fun things that happen in and around this show in the Derp Fam. So, will we make money from this? Yes, but it all goes back to the Derp Fam. Correct. Yep. So that'll go towards things like hosting the show, um, you know, hosting fees, website all the things that come with running this and then hopefully go into some things so we can do some giveaways and just lots of fun stuff. So we're hoping to do more and that's what this t-shirt sale is about for us beyond allowing you to rep the dirt fam. So exciting. I cannot wait to get one myself. I cannot wait to get the tweets from the fam wearing their shirts. It's going to be awesome sauce. Exciting dude. Speaking of the fam, one of the uh, very, very active has been since he joined members holding court, has made a map of the Derp fam. That very he, cool. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna put this in the announcement channel on Discord, and there's also a forum post he put up on the main Destiny Reset Bungie.net group. Basically. He's asking you guys to go out to it. There's a link. It's on uh, ZMap. Um, I believe it is ZMaps.com. But if you want the crazy long link to where our map is, just go to the forum post um, and or the announcements in Discord. Basically, he wants you to 
Uh, tell him, post on that forum post. He's tagging all the Dirt Fam all over the world. We so far have 92 Dirt Fam members that have been posted on that map, and it is so cool to look at, dude. Yeah. Um, everywhere. All everywhere. over the world. We have that one random dot way out there in Hong Kong <laughs> for holding court. <laughs> yeah. But that works, man. So Absolutely. cool. Absolutely. So yeah, guys, if you want to participate in this kind of just for fun, cool activity that holding court's putting together, uh, go look at, go look and find that announcement or post and, uh, let them know where you are in the world. So we can plot it on our cool world map and see how, wide and big the dirt fam is i have to give a random anonymous shout out dude because a long time ago and i don't even know if they're in the fam anymore somebody mentioned something similar to this yes um, i don't know if they're around anymore if you are thank you then for doing that um but also in combination with holding court thank you sir for finding the z maps and doing this as well this is really yeah. cool to look at it's so so neat to uh, zoom in and see you guys all over the world so it's really very fun. cool stuff if any of you guys ever think of random stuff like this um don't hesitate man all this stuff adds to the uh, family vibe so go for it cyborg yeah 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 i couldn't even breathe man i'm doing it this week no how breaks, was, right? How was, how was, how was your reset? You didn't say it right. How was your reset? Oh, uh, I like it that way. It was <laughs> great, man. I like how we have in caps your on the show notes. How was, no, how was your, your reset? reset. There you go. All right. It was great, man. I had a pretty fun week. Played lots of different things in Destiny this week and um, played with lots of different people. So, you know, having fun. I'm hoping other people out there too. I am trying to block out as much of the salt and the hate and whatever that I see everywhere because I'm still having fun in this game. <laughs> and as long as I do, I'm going to let you know. But uh, I name. kicked it off. What did I start off with this week? I started out with, of course, the POE 42, which is another fun week because we got super kill bonus. And... What do we play as far as classes? All right, so I was running my Stormcaller, and Darth Digits was running his Stormcaller, and then we had Crimson, who was on his Titan, and we were like, hmm, how can we make this work with a Titan? Because we want orbs. So he set up a Defender Titan to generate extra orbs, and that actually worked out very, very well for this uh, for this week with the different bosses that we have. Um, and we're able to get some good orb trains going. So had a fun time with that, man. I still awesome. love the POE 42 and I still don't understand why you're not freaking running it. Every I week. know, man. I know. Cause this is your, th like, this is what you asked for. I know. They give you what you asked for and you don't even play it. I cannot get out of the crucible, dude. Like I, I just, I log on and I'm like, I want to continue to get better <laughs> I at want the to crucible. Pop domes. I so I, pop domes. <laughs> I go right back into the crucible. Every time, every time well, there, there is zero PVE for me to talk about unless this counts. I thought I ran out of worm spore and who <laughs> runs out of worm spore? I realized Dude, that. No, I've run out of worm spore really? recently. Well, yeah. I had 200 in my vault, but before I realized that I went to the dreadnought, which I haven't been to in months and I ran mm -hmm. in circles for a couple of minutes and then realized that I had worm spore in my vault. Yeah. Th does that count as PVE content? No. No, okay, sorry. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but look, man, I think that this coming reset may be your week where you 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 may need to take a week off. I'm just I know, saying, man. and I, I can't make that decision for you, but I'm getting sick of hearing all your saltiness when I'm playing trials with you. I know. I feel like you're being a little dramatic, though, because my saltiness is pretty mild. I know, but you're usually so calm. I know. The amount that I'm hearing just is so disconcerting. I'm Man, so I know. I played a lot of <laughs> PvP this week. Is there is there any other PvE you want to cover before we get into get into the PvP? Well, yo, check this: the Nightfall Sunless Cell. One of my friends that I've played a good amount of PvP with, he hit me up last week. We like ran across each other on Reddit, and we we're like, "Oh, hey, man, what's been going on?" And I was like, "Let's play some this week." So um, we ended up 
doing a little bit of time trying to farm the Nightfall, which is Sunless Cell, for Dark Blade Spite, which is the really awesome fusion that nice. you can get to drop from that. And sure enough, I did I did finally get one. I think this is the first one I've gotten. Uh, the rolls were not great. Um, you know, it's it's a long charge rate fusion, and I got knee pads, which is not going to help me much. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I start charging before I slide, <laughs> it's not going to work out well. But um, one of one of one of the guys he did get one. And I think it had hidden hand and uh, maybe brace frame or something. Just really good roll on it. Uh, but we played that a whole bunch, and I would encourage people when that nightfall comes up, try to get that dark blade spite because it's a good fusion. Cool stuff, man. It looks really cool as well. I've gotten the helm plenty of times, but never. Is it is the the helm's for the hunter, right? Uh, no, no. it's for a titan. Titan, yes, it's for titan, a titan, yeah, yeah, titan. I don't think I have that. Yes. Well, Took let's me a talk while to get intellect discipline. We're gonna talk, talk PvP. Let's talk PvP. I'll let oh, you. We're gonna do it. I'll let you take the floor here. Well, man. Okay, a lot of PvP this week. I started my week uh, with some random elimination with Terry, which we do every now and then. And let me just tell you. Right now, with the player pool that's out there, or maybe the lack of, Mm -hmm. and I'm sure it's all combined with um, the connection quality that we're getting, it is the most sweaty experience right now to play normal Crucible. Even when we were warming up for um, trials tonight, we played a couple skirmish matches, you might as well just jump straight into trials. Because the first three or four trials games are extremely less sweaty for us than jumping into skirmish. Um, I don't know, dude. I don't know. It's fun, man. It's fun to sweat. But, you know, it's just, it's really, there's just a fine line of like, you can't even goof around with different loadouts because you have got to play like you're playing your 7 0, 8 0 game in trials in a normal skirmish game. And yeah. I guess if you're okay with getting worked and, stomped when you're trying the vacancy out then it's all good but man it's just not fun to have to play (laughs) game after game like that in just the normal crucible you know like i don't want to just you know run over people but dude holy cow i mean have you experienced this in just normal no i played i played um i was working on like the weekly bounty i think it was like salvage rift and control or something this week and so you know control uh win wasn't that bad but salvage win oh my gosh yeah it's like it, the rift that one, one took a while it was super super sweaty dude like i've tried for the rift win twice tonight and uh yeah. first time we lost by ten thousand. it was a team of six on the other team oh, man. and the second time we got mercy yeah <laughs> i tried I tried twice the other night and just got friggin' pub stopped. Like, yeah. <laughs> and we went in with two people, so I guess you know if you're not going in with a full team, you I guess it you makes it harder. Like, yeah, too much different, but you know, it'd be great. It would be like freestyle rift. Yeah, that would be fun to try. I think it just would like balance it out a little bit. Give us some sort of a freelance playlist, at least one, if you're not going to put all of them up to spread the pool too thin one yeah. every week, you know? I don't know, man. Like, okay, so a little bit of my salt this week. I, You know, I went off. We, we chatted in Discord and on Twitter. I'm really focusing. I, I think you're right, man. I'm just playing the Crucible so much. And this is even coming from a sniper, man. Like, I don't even want to just talk about firebolts anymore. There's <laughs> so <don't>. many grenades <laughs> in this game, man. And there's so many powerful secondaries and i i really am getting to that point where i want to have primary fights man and i mean even the terry and i talk about it even the top notch streamers the top one percent i mean they tell you man do not engage in a fight unless you've started with a grenade Mm. like it's everybody's trained to do that and it's cool man like i don't want to complain you know i want i like the game for what it is i jump in every night to crucible with a fresh mindset and i go in and i just try to get better but dude how many engagements do you have that are just 1v1 primary fights just mm. straight up who can shoot who more accurately more precise and better 
No yeah, grenades, it, no supers. It really depends on the game mode, but I, I totally feel what you're saying. And it's, you know, that's the game, man. Like, I don't want supers to go anywhere. I feel like maybe a resolution for this would be to knock down grenade damage. I really am getting to the point. You know, I think about, I'm not, I didn't play Call of Duty a lot. I played it enough. Um, Destiny, man, like, I just, I really don't want to sound like I'm I'm knocking the game. I'm, I'm in it every night, man. I'm jumping in Crucible every night. I love it for what it is right now. I'm just playing it so much that I'm starting to analyze it more and more and more. And... Mm-hmm. It's just like, I think about a grenade in Call of Duty, at least old school Call of Duty. You throw the grenade, it's a it's a modern warfare grenade. If you're standing on it, you're dead. If you're not, you're okay. In right. Destiny, man, you're going to get burned for several seconds. And I know this is future space aliens, you know, but I, I've almost got to the point, man, where burn should be out of the game, dude. There shouldn't be any burning of any kind for this for PvP to be really on a on a competitive level the burns are just so rough man on not I'm not just talking about firebolts just burns just across DOT, the DOT yeah. right yeah. Yeah. Damage, damage over time, time. yeah and I don't know, man, like it's, it's, it's fun, but like I, I jumped on my son singer Friday when we played Friday night, we played with Terry uh, and Davis. Um, and dude, I jumped on my son singer and the kills I get with my firebolt. I'm just like, the guy runs away and he's, he's gone, went to do his own thing and he ticks out of the game. And I'm like, holy cow. I just killed that guy with my grenade. Eight seconds later, seven seconds later. Oh, it, it gets pretty ridiculous. And I'm just like, no, I sh- that I, sh- I should not have killed him. Like, I if anything, like I've mentioned before, if you want to damage over time that long, at least make it to where it won't do the final tick of damage. Mm-hmm. You know, they still you, they put them out of the fight that long, which is still questionable. But it, it, don't kill them with it. You know, and yeah. it's it's so prevalent in 3v3 game modes man and this is where i'm coming from is 3v3 i don't play a lot of sixes so sorry if i'm 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 opinionated on one side but threes man if you're out of the fight and terry said this the best man that's a third of your team out of the fight in trials for how many seconds of a burn from a grenade you know right so I don't know, man. I mean, it's an ongoing conversation. Part of it this this week for me was we, on the front part of the weekend, every single passage, we had at least two or three games of really, really bad connections. Um, I, I actually even tweeted two screenshots to Shark Eats Man, and I just, I'm like, Trials is really hard to play. I'm like, this is constructive feedback, man, but Trials is really hard to play with connections like this and I just attach the image and it's you know there's so much going on on the back end man they probably look at that and they're like if you only knew how much is going on on the back end I get that you know it's all good but dude when you have your mercy for that laggy game and then you just hope you don't run into another laggy game trying to go to the lighthouse it's just rough man like it's it's rough yeah. you gotta force yourself not to get salty I don't know yeah, well, we played together last night. Had some weird, weird lag. Green bar lag, right? People the new just green bar lag. teleporting. Yeah, since and, the April update. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people say, man, I mean, in this, there's a lot of truth to this. The player pool is really small right now. It's really small. So I'm right. sure that plays into it a little bit. Not as min- not near as many playing the game right now. You know, we'll be interested to see with this um, rise of iron. We'll talk about more in our main topic when that starts getting announced and people start jumping back in. Maybe maybe it'll clear up a bit. We'll have more people to match make with. But um, I don't know, man. You know, I played just a shout out. We played uh, Terry and I played with Joe last night. We made it to the lighthouse. We played with Dixie tonight, and dude, the, there was not much lag. We had two really good passages with Joe, went 9-0, and then we had two really good passages tonight with uh, Dixie and uh, Terry. And, 
Um, we didn't make it to the lighthouse, but man, we didn't run into much lag at all. And it was such a better experience. Um, it just really was overall. So I don't know. Yeah. It, um, uh, it may, it makes a really big difference if you can get connected to a, a good quality game, mm-hmm. you know, um, just because it, it's, it just gets frustrating when, right. you know, you're, you're trying to play your best. You get into these weird situations and somebody just disappears or teleports right in front of you and you're dead. Or, uh, I had a weird instance this week. I, um, I was playing Rift and I shotgunned a guy as he was closing in with the, uh, the Rift onto our, you know, our spot. And, he slammed it and then about a second and a half passed and then he died. Wow. <laughs> like, yep. Or the, the well, no land what? headshot three, four <laughs> seconds and then they fall over. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's like I really try to differentiate between mistakes I make. I really try to just stay calm and I made a mistake there. That dude had a really good snipe. Yada, yada, yada. And I really think I do well at differentiating between that. And then, you know, I just, I get hit by some of these burns in combination with some of these bad connections and i don't know man i just feel like we're kind of in a little transition period right now and i mean they're watching we know they're watching the back end and i hope they're listening they always seem like they're listening um you know and they make tweaks guns part of my primary talk right now is guns are in such a great place right now man like who normally right now everybody's talking about one or two or three guns that needs tweaked you know and people are using fusions they're using auto rifles you know they're using so many different primaries right now man so many different ones but Mm -hmm. there's just so many other things that make you not use your primary you know like i I don't know man i don't know it's it's just there's still some tweaking to do you know we're in in the longevity of this game we're still very early on but I think, like you said, part of it is I'm spending a lot of time in the Crucible, so I'm getting like super, like analytical about what I want to see. <laughs> yeah, you're getting one percent itis, right? Okay? Yeah. Okay. This is this is the same thing we started to see from big streamers, you mm-hmm. know, many months ago, where they play so much. And they get so focused on the things that irk them. And then once you get focused on it, it's hard. You continue to see it and you continue to see it and you continue to see it. You're like, I can't take it anymore. You know, I think, uh, I think you're right. I think you may need to take a little, little break. A week of PVE. I'm not saying (laughs) don't, don't play trials next weekend or something, but just take a few nights off so you're not so focused on it. Right. Yeah, I think because this you know, is what I would say. I'm saying this because this is what I would say to any other listener who called and left speak pipe and you know said the same thing or an email or whatever. I'd just be like, "Hey, take a break. Step away. Take a break." I mean, I think I said on Crucible Radio, if you're having a bad night of playing, just go to bed. And I think maybe I should, yeah, just play some PVE for a few days. You know, I mean, we have to remember. I think Polly said this to me the other day. You know, it it's just a game. You know, you we're playing it to have yeah. fun. You got to remember that, uh, at the, you know, just like the end of our two passages tonight. We didn't go and I know, but we had a good time. And, you know, I don't I don't also like to say it's just a game because it is a game. We have fun with it. But we, I mean, we want certain things win. out of it. Yeah, we want to win and we, we be competitive. we're lucky enough that Bungie listens to what we say. So, I mean, we take a lot of ownership into this game, uh, yeah. but at the same time. No doubt. Sometimes you just got to step away. I think I need to go run Challenge of Elders <laughs> for a few weeks <laughs> and do that thing for a little bit. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff, you know, you could play to take a little break. And I got to say, dude, when fun. I loaded into the Dreadnought tonight, just doing that, I was like, man. And then uh, my ghost said something to me as soon as I loaded in. And I'm like, I need to go play some PVE content a little bit, man. It sounds fun. It's yeah. been too long. Yeah, man. Go grind some stuff out, get some more gear and play some fun stuff. So burning shrine was the map this week. Are you tired of this map yet? 
Man, you know, it's one of my favorites, but I mm-hmm. am kind of getting tired of it. Everyone knows their strats on this map, which is cool. You know, you jump in, everybody knows what they want to do. Um, but yeah, I, there's definitely some other maps that can come I f- up. I feel I it's getting a little little stale and repetitive yeah. for me. The, at, at this point, I would have rather played like Black Shield. Right. And that's saying something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about Thieves then? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Almost. 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 Not quite. <laughs> it's you know it's still a, hate it. It's a fun map. It's not exactly balanced. Each side has yeah. its own advantages yeah. depending on how your team's running. I've I've time. gotten you know like more accustomed to it. It's just still not my favorite. I, yeah. there, I just don't like the way it plays. Like the 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 corridors, the angles, they're too tight. It's it's too cheesy. I think is the problem I have with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. there's just too many places to to cheese the map. Like, you you walk around the wrong corner, like you you have no option. Like, you're gonna die. Right. And I, I don't like I don't like maps like that. Snipe lanes on uh, the front side towards the beach or across that are pretty punishing sometimes. Yeah. Before I forget, I gotta give a shout out, man. Of course, me and you played. I played a lot of trials this weekend. Um, yeah, and you a played shout a, ton. Out, a Shout out to Polly. Um, mm-hmm. We played with Polly also, so we took nice. man Joe. Joe jumped in with me and Terry. It's been a long time since we played with him. That dude is a fusion rifle beast. He <sighs> held his own you, through the whole thing and nine owed it, man. Like it was so fun. Yeah, so congrats fun. to Joe. Congrats Joe, to Joe, Joe, like almost just quit trials entirely. He was so frustrated. So dude, um, and he never gets salty. And even yeah. Terry's been telling me, like, dude, Joe's like he's he's you know he, he's kind of taking a little break from trials and i'm like well let's let's get in and run with him because when you run you know with a team you've ran with before sometimes it helps out a little bit and he mm-hmm. was destroying man like he was tearing it yeah. up the fusion so I'm, I'm happy to hear you got uh you got to the lighthouse with you guys he deserves it exciting stuff got him as kitty cat yeah yep meow yep. he's actually been three times uh each each emblem i think he's gotten nice but, um, yep. gotta get him gotta catch them all yep so I actually goofed around today. I have to mention uh, I joined the fun police, man. I finally got my no backup plans infused and I was running defender today on our couple passages, oh, which nice. Ken made a comment in chat, uh, Ken Slayer. It actually works pretty well with my no land shotgun build. So I'm going oh, to, have to play does. around with defender a little bit, man. Yeah. Yep. You might have some fun there. Yeah. Got to give a shout out to uh roving war beast. He played with you and I, uh, and yes. he's, he's a lot of fun to play with. Definitely. Really positive dude, you know, fun, uh, good player. So got to give a shout out to him. He he was mentioned many shows ago as the guy who shut me and Jordan and somebody else down with their uh, bubble bros. There was like oh, nice. th- three defenders, you know. And uh, so Destroyed. he just joined the Dirt Fam. So guys, if uh, if you see him in the Discord or out in the wild, uh, give him give him an invite. Play with him. He's a fun guy. Yeah, he was a great yeah. trials teammate, man. The the mm-hmm. biggest part of running trials is not getting salty with your team, man. If you get if you get it a little bit with the game, that's one thing. But it's so important for you not to get salty with your team. We had a lot of fun running, yeah. man. It's a good yeah, team. I did have fun. I mean, we didn't. We I think on my card, I think we got to seven. Yeah. Was that right? Yeah. I think so. so I think we got the uh, machine guns, and you were one behind, right? Yep. Yeah. But I had fun. I was running that uh, Plan C again this weekend, and... You're you're getting it with that thing, man. I'm doing all right. I, yeah, it, I'm pretty good. It, it was not... I, after playing, like, that many games, it wasn't the ideal uh, gun to run as a special, but I had fun with it. Yeah. It's, That's uh, what matters. Yeah, Terry's been running Fusion a lot too, man. I think you inspired him a little bit, you and Joe. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, he was watching you use that Plan C on uh, on your stream. You streamed a little bit, man. Your stream's up some. That's I got exciting. Stream, stream. Yeah, it's good stuff, dude. Yeah, man. So fun reset this week. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that was fun. Oh, really awesome thing. I hit three thirty five this week. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, that's cool, dude. Shout out. We had a guy from the Dirt Fam come and jump in. I was like begging for somebody to come help me. And he was like, Yeah, man, I'll come, yeah, I'll come help you out. And <laughs> all I needed, like, I just wanted to run, you know, 142 to get the 30K points to get the weapon drop from Varix just to try to get a 335 heavy because that's what was holding me back. And I got it. And I was like, Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. 
So it's really an empty achievement. It means nothing. And hey, but you're all about those. <laughs> I just, well, I just have to do it for the sake of doing it. Like That's I cool. just want to know. And well, also, now that you're... I want to beat Darth Digits. Oh, of course. To it, so that you I guys can, always have that going on. You know, be like, yeah, you lose, I win, which I did. So I wanted it. to ask you, man, because I feel like it's definitely the case right now. Now that you're 335, I want to see if you think so. Is the progression right now not at a great place with this infusion? Do you think so? I feel like, man, I'm 333, and other than it boiling down to one thing in the end, like, I mean, I'm I'm pretty pleased with how quickly and, and at the same time not quickly I'm progressing. It just seems like a good balance. I think it's in a good place. Not like I said, it it's uh, it's like a collector's dream, you know. Like you can just get so much stuff, right? Just by playing anything you're doing. Like you know, it's great. We played Crucible last night. I ranked up Crucible, you know, playing Trials. So I, you know, went and got a package just for mm-hmm. playing for a few hours. Like you, everything you do is rewarding. In some form or fashion, and I just love that. Yeah, um, you can just do everything that you want and constantly get an opportunity to get another piece of gear, and that's that's really how it should play. Yeah, you know? man, I mean, it's that's, it's that's what's going to keep people going. Keep I people think engaged. That episode after the update dropped, I remember I told a little story about going and doing stuff and then going back to the tower, and it still feels like that, man. When you're done with whatever you decided to do for the evening or the night, you you take the trip back to the tower, and you have a couple packages to open up, man. You got some yeah, stuff maybe nice. at the Postmaster. It's Dude, good. I have to say, though, I'm so aggravated right now. I'm level 69 with New, new Monarchy. I cannot <laughs> get that freaking ship to drop. Oh wow! What is the deal? You which one you've been sporting now though? You got the IB ship. Oh yeah, the new no, IB I ship? got that new ship which I love. Um, I got the one of the Crucible ships to drop from a Crucible package, and it is called Mind Bleacher. Imagine nice. the crowds, then block them out. It's really <laughs> sexy looking. Um. I couldn't remember which one you'd gotten. Yeah, it's it's got you know the Seahawks color scheme. Oh, on that's it. right. Yep. And it's the same model as you know the new Iron Banner ship, Herbridian Thought Crime. It's mm-hmm. like that model of ship, but the paint job looks awesome. Very I'm cool. rocking that right now, and it's it's you know keeping me warm at night while I cry because <laughs> I can't get the ship that I want. I'm still rocking. I finally, a while back, got the other Dead Orbit ship that's just gray and black with no logo on it. I love Fermi that Solution? Yes. Nice. I like that one a lot. Yep. Good stuff, man. I'm all about this stuff, bro. I think uh, I think this week, I think I'm going to do some ghost hunting. I think I was talking about that a couple of weeks ago, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually take the time and go find the rest of the ghosts that I haven't picked up since the Taken King and the April update because I'm missing like Maybe like 10 right now. It's a good time to do it. Get that grimoire up. I'm at 4,800 right now. Nice. Nice. But I need like a ton of salvage, rumble, and doubles wins. Maybe wait till that player pool increases. <laughs> yeah. That would that would be ideal. <laughs> Actually, you reminded me. I went back and watched a little bit of that Crucible Twitch stream, man. I didn't watch all of oh, it, yeah. but uh, it was pretty interesting. You're right. I uh, I enjoyed it. They, I like you said, they didn't get really into like strategies or anything. It was more about design and how they came about it. But it was really cool to see some of the early um, concept art of yeah. some of those maps. Like the uh, Rusted Lands was originally supposed to be like a Vex um, type map, and then it ends right. up being. Yeah, that's that's cool, cool stuff. Yeah, you know, uh, I was listening to Planet Destiny and Miss Miss Five Thousand Watts really hit on what I was kind of getting at last week. Uh, that it would just they just didn't get into enough detail, like mm-hmm. like I wanted. Like I just expected so much more, and they set an expectation when they did the map breakdown for the Taken King before those came out. Like they got so in depth into well, this is why I created like these particular lanes and this is the, how these routes are. And this is the lore idea that ties into the map. Like I'm, I was expecting all that and I didn't yeah. get any of that. Yeah. They so more I was like, just, Oh man. 
at the surface of it. Like, oh, yeah. we used to have a lane here and right. nothing too detailed. Show me the lane. Show me yeah. that old lane. Tell me why you took it out. Like, I'm interested in the, the design decisions that were made. Right. You know? Uh, but it was cool. It was still good. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to like hate, you know, I just would love to see more of that in the future. Uh, I've still got to go back style. Look at my, I've got my art of destiny book sitting on the shelf and apparently there's some pretty awesome stuff in that book. I've got to take the time to sit down and look at it, man. Right now it's just one. a trophy on my, a destiny trophy on my <laughs> destiny just shelf. Up on the stack of, <laughs> yeah. of stuff that we collect. Yes. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. How about some news, dude? Let's do it, brother. We're saving some for the main topic, but we got some, we've gotten some stuff this past week. Some yeah, little, well. Little nuggets of news. Right, coming right at us out of nowhere in this week at Bungie. They're just like, hey guys. Uh, this week at Bungie, we're preparing to reveal your next adventure, and the crowd goes wild. The hype. Destiny Instinct. reveal stream, Thursday, June 9th, 10 a.m. Pacific time, Twitch TV slash Bungie. And they just say, hey, we're just going to show you what's coming this year. That's pretty much all they told us. <laughs> While we're thinking about it, twitch.tv slash Destiny Reset and your favorite... Guardian Joe will be hosting it. For yes, the fam. I've already gotten got it blocked out in my calendar, so I do not <laughs> set a meeting and forget. I thought about it this yes. morning. I was like, "Oh, oh, wait, well, let me type this What's on Thursday? In. That's yeah. throwing us off, man. Yeah, it's on Thursday. We were talking about this. I don't know why they chose Thursday. And then I we were talking about like, up. do you think they're gonna <laughs> are they gonna get it archived and and post it on their YouTube channel in time for the. This week at Bungie? I'm or sure maybe they push this week at Bungie a day late. Day late, I bet you're right. Because you just right. going to be working on the stream, right? Yep, yep. That's exciting though, man. We'll, we'll get into get into that more I in the main topic, but oh, that's exciting. Visibly shaking. I'm trying to hold <laughs> my excitement till the main topic. <laughs> just wait. That was, uh, we got a weird carnage. I mean, just a random carnage report also. It, it was kind of cool though. Yeah. To yeah. see all the different stuff from Iron Banner. Uh 6,556,390 hours. Am I just forgetting? Did they do this every Iron Banner? No, no, they okay. don't. Okay. I thought that's why I was reading it and I'm like, it's kind of random. Yeah. But it is cool, you're right. Yeah, it's cool to see. Seven million legendary drops. Crazy. Seventeen million plus legendary marks earned. Four hundred and fifty eight million kills crazy the iron banner that doesn't sound like a very small player pool no it doesn't <laughs> everybody comes back for iron banner yeah probably uh, so all the pve players jump over yeah but uh yeah so that was you know most of what was going on i have to say though the um the poe 42 point high scores seem a little more accurate this week they're paying a little more attention Don't you to think? it <laughs> I thought a little the same more realistic. Thing. Everything's under a hundred thousand. Yeah, I was like, oh, they, okay, I can. And see it was that. super weak. And it was super weak. So. Yeah. yeah. So, but that was that was the twab. I mean, they pretty much just said, "Hey, just get ready," you know. And that's that's really all I need to hear. You know, <laughs> I don't need a whole bunch of floof about it. Uh, just tell me, hey, this is coming up, so get hype. We had a really cool movie of the week where they just use dragon's breath and sunbreaker titans all the way through yeah yeah. yeah yeah we actually um uh, when i was playing the nightfall somebody had dragon's breath and they were kind of producing the same effect it looks really cool yeah that gun when that he's on fire and, is really yeah. cool right now it's great i love the what they did palm. with that gun it has all the all the attributes and exotic should have now the tweaks they did yeah. with the napalm yeah stuff. definitely it's yep. great for pve if you use it in the right situation uh we got some other news that you know i i saw this in twitter because i was following this guy but um there's a lead artist at bungie raj not him, uh who actually had his last day uh i want to say it was last friday Yes. I think I actually think so. who has moved on to Epic. Am I right? I think so. Yeah. Seems yes. like an amicable departure. Um, you know, lots of the team, you know, were 
tweeting back and forth with them. And he actually posted this, like, I think it was nigh on a month ago. He had posted on it, something on his Twitter about leaving. So this isn't like a surprise. Yeah. He was a 3D model artist is what people are thinking. Um, yeah. That I don't think we know for sure, but that's what the Reddit post had in it. Yeah. So. Apparently responsible for the models of Thorn and other notable guns that are really beautiful. So, you know, I'm sure many people are sad to see him go. I wish him the best. Lord of Wolves. new that's place. A, yeah, Lord cool of Wolves, yeah. Yep. He did some really, some really cool art in Destiny. I hope they have found a suitable replacement. So many talented people at Bungie, man. There really is. They draw some amazing people over there. In their staff. Even in that Crucible stream, two of the guys that were talking about um, developing the maps used to play Halo, um, obviously, and didn't work for Bungie. And now they work for Bungie working on Destiny. <laughs> yeah. Which is pretty cool. So, wheel keeps on turning, man. Yes, bring in that new blood. Well, that is all the news that we're going to get into besides our main topic. We saved some. And it's the calm before the storm this week, my friend. <laughs> Winter is coming. I'm so glad I get that now, man. I've watched an episode and a half of. <laughs> Game of Thrones, and that's all you need to under. To I get thought it was fitting. Doing. If you haven't watched Game of Thrones, or you just have your head buried in the sand, and don't know what winter is coming means. <laughs> uh, I thought it fit nicely with all the snow did, motif man. that we've seen, and uh, we're not going to speculate a whole lot this week, guys. But we just want to talk about what we do know that is coming now. So we've gotten a couple little tidbits in the past uh, couple days, really, confirming some of our uh, our previous suspicions and leaks. So Bungie trademarked Rise of Iron on May 31st. Trademark went through. It's so weird, it man. Obviously, there's there's got to be paperwork going on on the back end. For oh, yeah, yeah. Wait it doesn't all just the, happen right. overnight. You know, like the, the May 31st date that was on that website, like obviously it was in the works well before then. You know? Oh, I'm sure months. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't, uh, you know, any any government agency has plenty of red tape, so. <laughs> well, and then you think about the timing, man. I think they were talking about this on Planet Destiny, but it's the leaked poster and then the Reddit user posting it. And then, um, then Bungie announces it on This Week at Bungie that we're going to get a live stream. And yep. then... Boom, they trademark it, which those two might have been flip flopped. But uh, um, I don't know, man. It's, you know, the, the leaks these days seem so strategized and gr- guerrilla marketing style. <laughs> so you're saying they're not true leaks? I what don't you're know. Su- suppo- supposing. I don't know. I'm fine <laughs> with them. I like, the, I like the leaks, man. Well, but, either but way, leaks. let's talk for a minute about what them announcing this on a stream before e3 means what does that mean man like i mean we know a lot of companies have have done this i mean nintendo has their own little shindig now that they do Mm -hmm. usually every year so i don't know man i mean it makes sense because they get so many viewers on their stream man and everyone is getting i mean directly fed destiny news instead of all of the stuff that goes on at E3. Right. But how does Activision and Bungie still not, they obviously still have a presence at E3. I don't know about a playable demo. I mean, we got that last year, but I mean, what do you think? What do you think? Are they, this is a nice segue into E3. We're going to have a lot of information going into E3 and then they're just going to give us a playable demo or something at E3 that we can see. I don't, I don't know. know. You think I mean, we'll they see? didn't. They didn't. There was nothing to play last year. They they showed off SRL, right? Oh, that's didn't right. Didn't they? Was it? No, well, that wasn't E3. No. That was something else. When did we remember? Because but they we, did announce the Taken King at E3 last year. When did we actually see people playing the Taken King? It what had to be that, that the event after that was before. Uh... Man, I'm drawing a blank. 
But here, here's my point is this is what you would think would be their big show off at E3. So the fact that they decided to do this in a stream is leading people to believe that maybe there's something more they're going to show at E3. Yeah, that's true. That's a good thought. That could be reaching, you know. I it may be kind of early to talk about Destiny 2 because Bungie in the past they don't really talk about something until it's kind of like looming. You know what I mean? Right. But they have a new CEO who may be wanting to change how they're marketing and how their communication works. So I'm just I'm just interested to see where this leads because it it kind of seems like a, a deliberate step to show this off before E three. So I'm wondering what what is the purpose in taking that step? Why are you doing it this way? You know? Yeah, I mean it's you know, it's still to me like if if we were waiting till the fall for Rise of Iron, which I mean it really looks like we are, I I don't know what order they do this in. Like it, we're we're at that moment where we just get to sit here and wait for Thursday and see like how much are they going to show us on Thursday? Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. And 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 to to kind of throw this in with it, just today, um, it's Monday. Um, Gethalian tweeted out the an ad like he did a Google search of Rise of Iron, and Destiny the Game dot com was the top advertised um, result. And it said, new story, raid, gear, and weapons. Discover the fate of the Iron Lords. Yeah. So, I mean, this can't... I mean, this has got to be what we're going to see at E3 also. So oh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're going to show it off too. Right. But So, I mean, what do they show us Thursday? I mean, they, they've obviously got something planned. They know we're going to hype ourselves up. So, <laughs> they've got to have quite a bit to show us, right? Well, and Bungie tweeted today from Destiny the Game uh, Twitter. Not the Bungie Twitter, but the Destiny the Game Twitter. And, you know, a little image hyping up the stream on Thursday. And it was a, a new original image. Um, it's the Destiny logo, a.k.a. the Tricorn. Is what it's technically called. And the actual um, like coloring of the tricorn was a green and brown like Iron Banner uh, kind of scheme. Mm-hmm. And half of it is covered in snow, and the other half is like uh, like tundra, like cracked earth behind it. So it looked really cool. Everybody's like, snow confirmed. It's snow. We're having <laughs> snow. Game over. I I wouldn't be surprised if if we didn't have snow now after all the snow we've seen but uh that was kind of cool. Snow. So, we asked the Dirt fam, what are you guys hoping to see Thursday? You want to read some of these off? Let's do it, man. All Start right. with the uh, Defender Fun Police leader. Shout out for being uh, number 1 clip on uh, the Fun Police video this week, Mr. Davis, Big Daddy Davis himself. He said, new raid, yes, please. I can can get behind that. (laughs) Matty Misfit said, I want to see more from the Salad Man. (laughs) Good stuff. Uh, At Hatchy Dave, snow. They keep putting snow everywhere. Dude. Lol. I would love some snow. I want to be running through a mission or patrol and hear the awesome, crunchy snow footsteps. I think uh, uh, Bife said in one of his videos, like, actually slow down our walking animation. You know, like the snow is so thick. Oh, that would suck. <laughs> no, no, no. That no. heavy. That heavy of snow. No. I want a sled. There you go. <laughs> the the sparrows don't hover anymore. They're actual just, um, oh, my gosh, what are they called? What what are they called? Snow snowmobiles. Snowmobile. <laughs> thank you. They're actual just snowmobiles now. Oh man, I With want new a version of SRL that's uh, bobsled racing. There you go. <laughs> that would be fun. Hey, I thought of a really cool thing. Total tangent. We got to do this every now and then. Okay. Running around the tower today. I want Tony Hawk Simulator in the tower, dude. I could you and everybody rail else, slide. Dude. 
all day long in there, man. That was such a fun game. All right. Sorry. Back to the hoverboards. There you go. All right. Uh, Polly D at try Polly D says new raid plain and simple. Everybody yep. wants that new raid, man. Lots of people are getting behind that raid. Corey, the B 69, hopefully new guns and a patrol would be nice. And as always the raid. So let's yep. talk about this for a sec. Patrol, man. Surely don't you, I would think we're getting a new patrol area, right? I mean, that's kind of, Everybody One would is. hope. With, I mean, we don't, with this size of expansion that we're expecting, I'm hoping for a new patrol area. I hope... Do you want a patrol area where you actually have to get on your Sparrow again? Or you yes. want something like the Dreadnought? No, yeah, I want something big. Okay. I want to like... I better remap that button then. If yep. We're going get... <laughs> to have to figure that out. There's a macro or something. We told you there's... I know, man. I just haven't it. taken the time. I know, I know. I don't go anywhere that requires my Sparrow, so it's just not... <laughs> A pressing issue. Uh, you're a snob. You got to get carried <laughs> around. You're like, yeah, I don't, I don't get on sparrows. What does this look like? <laughs> Just need my ghost. Uh, I pulled a couple of responses off of Discord, uh, only from our buddies that I knew I could steal this without their knowledge. Cody, at Cody Carl Digit said, uh, I don't want them to reveal everything, though. I don't also want to just be sitting all summer stewing he said i I also don't want them to give so much of it away like they did with taken king sounds like he doesn't know what he wants but um i can kind of get behind the idea like i don't want to see everything but i also don't want to see so little that i have no idea what we're getting right that just puts more pressure on their stream it's a tough balance i Mm -hmm. honestly i don't think we're gonna see a ton on this stream Thursday. It is weird, man. There's so much they can give us this fall all the way from a new patrol to a new raid to a new subclass, a new class. We talked about that. You didn't think we would get something that big for an yeah. expansion like this, but I mean, who knows? There's so much stuff, man. It's possible. I think we're going to get a vid doc about the expansion. There's going to be a lot of people talking about what they've been doing their inspiration, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's going to fill up a lot of the time. And then as opposed to showing us every single thing that we're going to get. It is funny, man. Like we always want content, content, content from them Mm -hmm. with this game we love, but we're, we're still playing it right now. At least, you know, we are in a lot of the fam and, you know, I'm just thinking like, you know, I'm excited. And then the stream I'll, I'll go up Thursday and I am just instantly hyped <laughs> dude i my mind is blown like i just can't wait <laughs> oh, i mean think about how hype we got last e3 over the taken king i mean it mm-hmm. was like insanity bro yep i can't wait um so exciting our buddy terry he said i hope they give us a lot of info during the reveal stream not just scraps a peek at new activities and guns bungo please <laughs> what you think think we're gonna get Man. that I I hope I really think we're going to get new activities. Everybody seems to be, you know, just hovering over a changed iron banner or a new all new PVP game mode. Mm-hmm. Um Goth even actually tweeted out that he wanted a new in-game PVP activity. That's never even crossed my mind, man, because I'm always thinking about the PVE players who still need that that thing like Challenge of Elders. Challenge of Elders is close, man. It's really close. But I I mean, you tell me, you play it more than I do. Has has it reached the trials replayability? I know it's hard to do that with PVP because you're playing real well, people. Well, I mean, I'm still playing it and having fun every week. That's true. I, that's will I play it? After the new content comes out, no. Right. Will I play it in another four weeks? Maybe, maybe not. I still think we need that true wave-based yep. mode. I really do. Mm-hmm. Something. Uh, how cool would that be if they gave us something on each side? But, you know, the way they're setting this up, man, discover the fate of the Iron Lords... Um, I mean, yeah what do you think about that what do you think about the phrasing there do you think that they're referring past tense or current tense I don't know you could still go either way I almost said past tense man but we 
we we really kind of know some details about the fate of the Iron Lords, but we don't. There's some are still alive. They're still alive. You know, they're, we yeah. don't know where they are. Like it could still be either. I mean, it's so it's such word trickery, man. I'm gonna stick by my guns it's and future. say we're not going back in time. Period. Okay. It's gonna be exciting to watch. We don't. We do not want this game to turn into a tri- time travel genre. Yeah. Well, it's, we had the, God, the raid that, that did Yeah, that. but that you know, that that was like a mechanic. We that was not part that, I'm not gonna say it wasn't part. That was not us um learning something that happened in the going past. back in time to experience events that have already transpired. Let's put it that way. But don't you think though, until Destiny two that that is definitely a viable option for them to explore, just to hold us over until no, we dude, move forward. There's so much freaking story in this but, game. No, but but I'm asking from their. I'm not saying I want I want what you want, but I'm asking from their perspective to hold us over until they can push the story forward. Don't you think it would be easier for them to tell us what happened to the Iron Lords that's already in the grimoire? That's versus, lazy. I know. I know. I'm saying I'm not I'm not saying this to like to you. Right. I'm saying no, like if they do that that's lazy t- storytelling like. Well, you know and they they haven't even with the Taken King, it's always these side stories, you know. Mm-hmm. It's never the main, which is what you're talking about, right? Like you want the meat of destiny, I, right? I don't have to have the ent- like the entire overarching story about the traveler and all that. Like move forward. I just need the story in some way. Our story. Mm-hmm. This is our story, right? It's about what us, the guardian, is having a part in and is transpiring. I think the Taken King did a great job of moving our story forward. I agree with that. You know, it it changed the entire um, landscape of the solar system. You know the 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 Awoken were practically decimated. The Queen's gone. Prince Aldrin's, for some reason, still on Mars, or who knows where the hell he is. Um, you know, it changed a lot. I just mm-hmm. want progression in what is occurring in our solar system. We, you, when you're telling a story like this, and this is like a uh, a world that is. You think about it like this. Every day, the Guardians are there. And do you think that we would just have nothing happening in a six-month period? like, And then go right. another six months to a year and there's just nothing new? Like, we're just fighting the same guys over and over and over into infinity? Like, no. Man. Like, stuff's going to happen. New threats are going to come. Mm. We're going to fight new people we're going to progress like that's what i want something else that i still want so bad man is i want destiny novels i want side stories i would love that to read during these time periods man there's like you said there's so many different things to explore i would love to be reading a destiny novel right now and getting backstory on more stuff yeah yeah i I mean of course you can go out and read the grimoire but i just really want i want a book with a plot it's destiny related with the mm-hmm. lore built in. That's, mm-hmm. I mean, I want it so bad. You know, it's got to be in the works. They're just taking their sweet time with it. Taking their sweet time. I think that there's a there's a there's a boundary to that. There's there's a hindrance because um, there's so many characters mm-hmm. in all of the Destiny universe, and I think a lot of those characters that we read about in the grimoire are more pivotal to what the story is going to be in the future than some people realize. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I think that there's a part of it of they don't, if they tell too much of what happened in the past at once, they may give away too much of what's going to happen in the future. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, definitely. You know, and they, everybody always talks about the grim war and how they want it in the game and things like that. And, and definitely that would be nice, but man, to think about all the work they put into the grim war and the lore of this game and mm-hmm. try to keep it all tight knit and balanced on the PVE and PVP. And there's always a reason for everything. We've talked about that before. I mean, that is quite an accomplishment, man. Yeah. And, um, 
I mean, it's it's all sitting out there for us to read. I still haven't dived in as much as I would like to. Um, I want to ask you one more thing, um, kind of thought of while you were chatting. I heard on a podcast this week that um, people were talking about ownership in your character, um, and you were talking about moving our guardian story forward. Do you always want... I was real surprised. Uh, it might have been on Planet Destiny. Um, one of the hosts said that they don't feel a lot of ownership in their guardian and they don't really care if we bring the stuff we have forward with us, whether it be all the way down to a gun or, I don't know, anything forward with you. I'm the opposite, man. Like, I don't want all my guns to come with me. I don't mean that, like year two, year three versions of guns. But I I do, especially with the Taken King, I feel a lot of ownership in my main character which would be my titan and Mm -hmm. you know i know they don't talk a lot like it'd be cool if i heard his voice more and things like that but i and they've said they've i'm pretty sure they've said this but i want my character with this expansion with destiny 2 i mean that is definitely something i just that's a given for me like i always want to build on this character and i was just surprised to hear somebody say they don't feel a lot of ownership in their character and they don't really care if they take things with them um, it's a complete opposite for me. What do you, uh, what's your feelings on that? I, you know what? I don't, um, uh, if we get like a big change in destiny two, mm-hmm. in other words, like something major changes, maybe we're not at the tower anymore, or there's a dramatic shift in where our place in the world is, or I don't know. That's something I kind of expect out of a, f- a full sequel. Um, right. I would just be happy if we just have a way to like immortalize our achievements, mm-hmm. i.e., like you know, okay, all the notable gear that you really want to keep, quote unquote, like you can display it or something. Or that would be cool. I don't know. Or even if it was in a kiosk, right? Yeah, I mean, people have talked about that for the yeah. Gear you can stuff. pull it out. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, I, you wouldn't even even if you couldn't pull it out, like you said, a kiosk that shows you your accomplishments, little thumbnails yeah. of everything you got, um, or a way to show it off to other people, or right, your own apartment would be cool. Yeah, your own instance um, apartment. That's the major be. thing for me because I, I think what I worry about when we get to Destiny Two, because um, I'm expecting if if we're getting a a full title, you know, sequel. I'm expecting a very large amount of new new gear, armor, weapons, perks, a whole new way to play. Right. Right. Um, I don't. To be honest, if I'm getting all that, I don't want my old stuff in the way. Right. Like, Let me ask you this though, real specifically: you want to bring your guardian forward, though. You want your warlock to go. Yes. If nothing else goes, you want your actual yeah. warlock. Yeah, my dude. Right? Oh, yeah. 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 All the way down to that core. But here's the thing. All the stuff that you've earned is part of your identity in those characters. Mm-hmm. That's, Definitely. That's the tricky thing, right? Because without all the achievements, you, your achievements are immortalized through the gear that you earn. Beyond you know your grimoire and your gamer score, like those are the only things that show off what you've done in the game world. Right. Um, so they, the, it's it's a weird thing because they kind of go in tandem with each other. Um, it's the beast of destiny they've created, man. It's just going and going. And because it, you know, if it was up to me, like I would change like half of the look of my guy. Mm-hmm. Like when I made my number one, like my original warlock, like half of the stuff I made because I thought it was funny. Right now, I want them to look like more cool and less <laughs> ridiculous because all, uh, all but one of my characters just look completely ridiculous without their helmets on. Like, Didn't that eventually <laughs> come with every game like this? Eventually, we'll have a barber shop. And, yeah, uh, <laughs> please, <something>. God. <laughs> uh, uh, so, I mean, that's my take. I mean, what do you th- what sh- what do you think? You, no, man, I mean, that's, that's, that's it in a nutshell, dude. I, I agree with you. It's, I mean, it's all that stuff is, is part of the ownership of your character. I think it's, it is important to me to take my guardian and push him forward into higher levels. You know, um, I, I don't ever want to just have to make a new guardian, which you, they pretty plainly said that that's not their goal. They're going to keep pushing yeah. them forward. It's going to get harder mm-hmm. and harder for them to bring new people on, you know, things like the spark of light and stuff. But 
I don't know, man, that was just kind of a random tangent I heard this week. And, uh, um, I just, it's, you know, I run three characters on PlayStation, um, but I always, I mean, it seems like everybody always goes back to their one character, you know, the first class they picked, maybe, maybe it was a second, but it seems like everybody has that one favorite character. And I, I mean, I do have a lot of ownership in that character and I just want to yeah moving them forward and every iteration, man, it's part of it. Man, you know, something I, uh, I saw that sounded really interesting. I think it was on Reddit. Um, someone proposed a destiny style MOBA and the different characters that you pick are different heroes throughout destiny, whether it's the members of Vanguard or Saladin or, you know, this guy or that guy. That would be pretty cool. And they're like, Oh, your minions could be blah, blah, blah. But I think it would be cool if your minions were guardians with different (laughs) subclasses. So you could have like different minions with different abilities. Right. That sounded pretty fun because that would be the only way I could accept playing other playable characters besides my guardians Mm -hmm. in Destiny. Like I would never want an expansion or a sequel to come out where I'm not playing my guardian. Like I, as as interesting as it could be, no, I don't want to play Lord Saladin. I want to play my warlock with his abilities. But if you had like a different side game in the Destiny world. MOBA style, you get to play all these different heroes, that could be cool. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You know, I get I get where people can have a little bit of the angle where they don't have feel like they have a whole lot of ownership in their Guardian because, you know, they don't talk a lot. You don't pick, you know, conversation trees whenever you're going through the story. But I think that, you know, like you said, there's other other ways that Destiny makes you have ownership that that time in the vault of glass and you got your fate bringer or you know that kind of stuff what i'm hoping so. for in destiny 2 or even in just future content is the ability to make choices that affect the world That's, yeah. or even just affect your place in the world they mm-hmm. don't have to affect the overall narrative like it could just affect okay well you ally with this faction and you know, you can't go here anymore or these care, these people or these characters don't like you that much, but these people like you a lot or, you know, just different things like that. Or, Hey, you, you chose to be with the darkness. <laughs> like mm-hmm. you, you don't get to run these classes anymore. You know what I mean? That would be crazy to have a, a light and dark side. That would give people more ownership in their characters where you have mm-hmm. to make choices. Definitely. That's a really good point, man. Yeah, really good. So point. we'll see. I don't know if they'll ever make that choice. I think it would be an interesting choice to make. Well, it's very possible on a larger scale that this Rise of Iron may give us a modified patrol area. Um, that's yes, complete please. speculation, but it it really seems like it may be possible. Poor Fable. Some of the images. <laughs> hey, dude! Random tangent. We forgot to mention in news. I pulled them up like five times this week just to look at them. Mm-hmm. But you can actually buy the Mega Blocks Destiny Mega Blocks on Amazon now. Well, um, they've been sold out. Yeah, they're every sold time out. I've checked. But they have had yes, mm-hmm. the Destiny Mega Blocks have been up for sale. They're they're supposed to come in more. Um, available quantities right. in the fall. They're so I cool think. looking though, man. But yeah, they really do look good. Like they look the Fallen Walker. Great. Dude. Yeah, you got the Hunter, I think, with a Galahorn or a Titan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no Titan on a Sparrow though. It's just a Warlock I know, I know. and a Hunter. Yeah. What's up with that, man? But they look they, all of them look great. I mean, honestly, I wanted all the sets mm-hmm. that were available. But yeah, right keep now, an eye the... on Amazon for those Mega Black set, guys. If you right now, them. the I don't remember what the price was originally when they were in stock, but you can buy one new Fallen Walker with your um, Fallen character and your Hunter with the Galahorn, like you said, for $186. Oh, man. That's rough. <laughs> so that's not the Amazon price. That's but, not uh, what I'm looking to pay, brother. Right. I'm going to have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> we may not be giving those away. No, no. <laughs> oh, man. Well, good chat, dude. That's uh, all right, guys. So get ready. Exciting. Thursday, all will hopefully be revealed on the stream, and Destiny Reset will be hosting that stream. If you want to come hang out and watch the stream in a more reasonable chat room uh, than the Bungie chat, we will be hosting that stream. So go to twitch.tv/destinyreset 
and come, come hang out with, out with us. Yep. <laughs> come hang out with us while we're watching that. And uh, I always have a good time because I get to talk with the people I know and talk That's with great. our listeners and Dirt Fam about what's going on and just get hype. We all freak out and, and spam hype. the chat in our own way with excitement Yeah, as they announce things. Absolutely. All right, dude. How about uh, time for some Dirt Fam feels? Dirt Fam feels. Break into song. Yeah. This is where you request Celine Dion. Not this week. <laughs> I don't want to wear Every it out. <laughs> time I stream. Speaking of that, I I told you, but you requested it when I streamed the last time. So when I streamed this weekend, it was still in the playlist because it didn't make it through the rotation to it. So you weren't even in chat and Celine Dion plays on That's stream. Right. You're there anyway. My touch is everlasting. <laughs> well, we have a speak pipe from WVU Avenger. He got challenged last week, and uh, he, he's he got some things to say in a, a fresh new call out. So let's take a listen. Yeah, buddy. Hey, guys. This is Avenger. I'm answering Got Turkey's uh, Smooch Pipe Challenge. Arrow, Cyborg, Manny, Joe, and Slarty. Thank you guys for all your hard work and making this family what it is today and building this great community. Without you guys, the Derp fam would not be the Derp fam, that's for sure. Uh, so, I put a lot of thought into uh, who I'm going to call out and challenge for the next Spooch Pipe. I thought, you know, maybe I could challenge somebody that I sure but through the raid for the first time or you know maybe I could challenge my trials team oh wait they've all been challenged already so then I thought you know what I'm gonna challenge somebody that sure me through the King's Fall raid for the first time and somebody that's carried me through trials a couple times so them's tattoos I tattoo you 24 Jordan brother you are family to me so Kisses, smooches, all that good stuff. You've been challenged. All right. Thank you, Avenger, for sending that along, man. And uh, looks like our buddy, Them's Tattoos, you're up. You're on deck. We've got some uh, tattoos tickets coming soon, too, man. Oh, yeah, they're coming back, guys. Jordan had to move, but he has moved. And I I believe he's, well, did he move? He's about to move. Some with movie. He's busy. He's been busy, dude. He's gonna Graduating come back. Graduating and, and he other promised things. some yes. tattoos, tickets. He's gonna be back. Don't worry. They're on their way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We got another one. We got another one this week. Yes, it's still going. Yep. <laughs> Challenges continue. Necessary evil has answered the call. Let's take a listen to what he has to say. Hey, Derp fam. This is Necessary Evil. Uh, my buddy Ori uh, called me out last week for the smooch pipe challenge for xbox so here i am uh give a big thanks to ori uh he's been amazing uh, especially in overwatch such a good hanzo player but um yeah i'd like to give a shout out to all the new dirt fam that's been joining over the past week or so seen a lot of new faces in there and uh hopefully i'll get to play with you guys whether it be overwatch or destiny when they get some real content out, but uh, excited to play with you guys. Uh, I was going to call out Peterson for my smooch pipe challenge since uh, he kind of ditched me one morning to go play a uh, goat simulator, but uh, he made it up by uh, playing a lot of overwatch with me on Thursday morning. So I'm not going to call him out, but instead I'm a call out. Let's call out freezer burn. You seem to be uh, wanting to be called out, so here it is, brother. Freezer burn, smooch pipe challenge. Bring it on. Necessary evil. Thank you, sir. So nice to hear you on the speak pipes again. You, yeah. You send those every now and then. Um, mm-hmm. You had a nice shout out to all the new Dirt fan members also. Indeed. That was very nice of you. What a so nice guy. So many new members. Uh, he calls out freezer burn. Yep. Freezer burn. You've You're up. Been challenged. You are up. You guys have roughly in no very specific time frame three to five days to get your speak pipes in and your new challenges. Um 
No pressure though. But you might Yeah, have. just if you don't do it, then you'll break a uh ten episode long streak, streak of smooch pipe challenges, but no pressure. Thousands we're, of people pushing, are waiting to hear from you, but that's we're all. pushing lighthouse material on the smooch pipes, man. That's right. <laughs> Great. No well, emails this week, man. That's okay no, though. That's cool. That's okay. That's okay. That's cool. Speak pipes are popular. It's true. And I'm we can't, you know, them. I wanted to mention too, you guys can send us speak pipes. Um, As opposed to emails, yeah. You don't, yes. You don't have to be challenged. You can even just, you can send us a question. Yes, exactly. About a topic in a speak pipe. You can give a shout out. Um, that's They're just there for you to basically leave your voice for us to feature on the show. Exactly. Um, so, use them. Use it up. There's a link on our website for speak pipes if you don't know where to find it. What uh, a segue, it's up dude. there. Yeah. You're, you're going right to your plugs. You're getting really good at this, man. I have been practicing. <laughs> I think about it every day, how to segue. Uh, guys, if you want to find us, you can always find us at Destiny Reset on Twitter or at DestinyResetPodcast.com. That's a website. It's got links to all the fun things, such as where you can leave a speak pipe. Uh, to our Bungie.net group, we get lots of requests for that. Go to our website. It's right there uh, somewhere in the middle of the site. <laughs> it <laughs> is actually main main top front of the page, yeah. very middle under the paragraph. He, he manages the site. I just talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there. And also, you, you can need. subscribe to us on iTunes, Google play and stitcher and all that fun stuff whatever platform you need there's a way to listen to destiny reset also youtube if you want to watch a video of a static image and listen to us if you're <laughs> sitting at your desk at work or something like that or pull it up on your phone uh it's there too so lots of ways to listen every week you have no excuse go subscribe subscribe yep or can they find you Cyborg. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Cyborg Sasquatch. And now, <gasps> new and improved, else? you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Cyborg Sasquatch. I got a, I got my Twitch set up. Kind of cool now. That's exciting, man. Yeah. I figured yeah, you it out. streamed while we ran trials. It was cool. I did. It was nice. It was I fun. did. I did a couple of little test streams just to make sure and worked out a couple of kinks with some audio and stuff. It's not super duper high quality, but it gets the job done. And um, another place for the fame to hang yep. out. I'm probably going to be up on reset nights. So Tuesdays, you can come hang out and chill with me while we do some PVE if you're not playing. Um, and then, you know, if I'm doing something fun during the week, I'll put that up. But definitely uh, weekend nights, Dirt Fan Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, you name it. I'll probably Careful, be around. He's, he's already silenced me once. Yep. Don't act up in my chat. <laughs> Sorry, man. Don't get That's saucy. It's <laughs> all right. Oh, I just man. timed you out. You weren't banned. It was only for 600 seconds. That's right. That's it. It's That's not, not too bad. Where can they find you, buddy? You can find me on Twitter at The Arrow Knights and Twitch and YouTube, Arrow Knight with a zero. And I try to do some streaming as well. Usually for me, it is Friday nights. Friday, We're running Friday, some Friday, Friday nights, Dirt Fam Friday nights. Yeah, go watch this dude pop domes in the Crucible. Uh, it's fun. He's good. Trying to get better. He's good. Trying to get better. You're good. Thank you, Cyborg. Well, that was a fun week. Yes. Reminder, fun man. Show. The t-shirts. Yeah, go buy a t-shirt, guy. <laughs> I can't believe hopefully, we can say that. Hopefully, up within 24 hours. Yeah, of check our Twitter. To this. Twitter mm -hmm. will be where it's at. Watch the Twitter feed. Check your Twitter. We are going to have a link up. Go buy a t-shirt and represent the Derp Fam. It's exciting, man. It's another little milestone for the Derp Fam. That is pretty cool. Well, no new iTunes reviews. That's okay. You guys have been very kind and friendly with the iTunes reviews, so we appreciate that. And um, we'll be back next week, guys, with, some with streaming to talk ton about. Fun to talk about next oh, week. I can't man. wait. Exciting, exciting. Whoop, whoop. All right, man. Oh, that that we gotta we gotta contain the hype train, just a little bit longer. Okay. I guess right. I guess we're kind of going a little bit right now. Right? I'm selling tickets though. Y'all want to get I'm on tickets for Thursday? Next stop, Thursday's <laughs> reveal stream. 
All right, guys. Until next week, have fun playing Destiny, and take care, Guardians. Yeah, I don't have a voice this week. No voice this week. Well, we were close out on some Indiana last week. I don't think I can find it. <laughs> this is amazing.